morning, or depending when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name is Ross, and as always told, I had a voice radio, so today we're going to be looking at another exciting new card from Ultra Prism. It's Perugly, a Pokemon we just do not talk about very often on this particular channel, but the new one from Ultra Prism could be kind of fun, and if nothing else, it's got two attacks both of which are pretty gosh darn annoying, that at least has got to be worth a look. Now, being a colourless Pokemon means you're not actually hitting anything whatsoever for weakness. Not since the days of your old Garchomp C level X and dragons being colourless type that are weak to colourless. Those days are in the past. Being weak to fighting is a bit of an issue, I mean largely nowadays for Buzzwall. There's other things around like Gallade for instance, but then Gallade will be getting a one hit KO anyway. Buzzwall actually really sucks as a weakness right now. It's seeing a lot of play. With the rise of Zoroark, then we only expect Buzzwall to see more play as time goes by, so weakness to it not particularly great. Retreat cost of 2 is the worst in the game, and although 110 HP isn't pitiful, it is on the lower end of what we would expect from a Stage 1 non-GX. Alright, so far so uninspiring. But let's have a look at the attacks here, because the attacks could be quite good. For 1 colourless energy, 20 damage. Discard your opponent's stadium in play. If you do, prevent all effects of attacks, including damage, done to this Pokemon during your opponent's next turn. Now, getting complete immunity for a turn is incredibly good. We see this on GX attacks. Like, for instance, Toxapec GX's Toxic Shelter, which gives you complete immunity the following turn after you use it. That's a GX attack. This is a regular, ordinary, everyday, standard, run-of-the-mill attack, but you still get this same level of immunity. That's got to be a good thing, and in a way it is, but it must be mentioned, it is only when you discard your opponent's stadium. This isn't like something like Delinquent, where you discard a stadium in play and then you get the immunity. The immunity kicks in here only if you discard your opponent's stadium. So if your opponent sees you doing this, they can quite simply not put a stadium in play. Now that still could annoy them. It may well be that, I don't know, let's say you've got a Lycan Rock out. Now one of the things people often do against a Lycan Rock is play a Parallel City to limit their own bench so that Dangerous Rogue GX can't do all that much damage. Well here you can put your opponent in a fantastic position, for yourself, whereby either they play the Stadium and get around Dangerous Rogue GX, but leave themselves open to Perugly getting immunity, or they don't play the stadium and then you get to get them with your GX attack. Alright, sounds like a little bit of fun. Of course it does mean that this is only a Pokemon, at least if you're relying on this attack, that can be used if your opponent is playing a stadium. Now a lot of Pokemon do at the moment think something like a Buzzwall. They like Brooklyn Hill. Brooklyn Hill is extra Pokemon search. This is good. But this is not a stadium in play. This is your opponent's stadium in play. And that's the slight worry here. Because if your opponent doesn't play a stadium, this attack does next to nothing. I should also mention that you're only doing 20 damage here. Now that will go up to 50 if you add a bit of the old choice band. And you could even put it as high as 70 if you're willing to invest in a Professor Kukui as well. That's Still not very much at all, and that's only against an EX or a GX. Against a non-EX, non-GX, you can't use Choice Band, and it's 40 with a Kukui. Okay, fine, I get that. And you're not even hitting for weakness. But this isn't a huge take a prize kind of attack. This is a buy yourself a turn kind of attack. This is a your opponent's not doing anything for a little while, so you've got some time kind of attack. And in that circumstance... It's pretty gosh darn fun. Yeah, the damage output is low, and yeah, it's only if your opponent plays a stadium. But you can catch your opponent off guard here and get a turn where they can't do anything. And I should mention here, it is the Pokemon that gets immunity. So your opponent could play something like a Guzma, and then hit something on the bench. But if they switch their active, they still won't be able to hurt you. And if nothing else... You've still gotten rid of your opponent's stadium, and if they put a stadium in play, they probably wanted it in play. 
Now there is a second attack here that's also quite a lot of fun. For free colourless energy, which is kind of expensive, but you can always use double colourless here. You get to do 60 damage, bit more like it. Discard random cards from your opponent's hand until there are three cards remaining. Now this has the potential to absolutely wreck your opponent's hand. I've mentioned it before, but I'll say it again. At the moment, Zoroark GX is absolutely everywhere. The reason it is absolutely everywhere is for its trade ability that allows you to discard one card from your hand and then draw two. People will use trade three, four, five times in a particular turn. Maybe not five, because you can only have four Zoroark out. But you get the point. It gets used an awful lot. And then your opponent ends up with a handful of cards. And then in comes Perugly, discarding cards from your opponent's hand until they've only got three. Now, when you use a Zoroark, you end up drawing into a bunch of cards you don't need. But there's still going to be a few that you do. Zoroark decks tend to play Puzzle of Time. Hitting a single Puzzle of Time is a lot of the time as good as hitting a double Puzzle of Time, because then they've only got one and they can't get two cards back from the discard. Hitting a Guzma is incredibly good, because it means they then don't have access to it. Hitting an ace roller could be crucial because then you get rid of their ability to pick up and essentially heal their Pokemon. This, ladies and gentlemen, although rather expensive, is an attack that if used at the right time can completely and utterly wreck your opponent's setup. If you get the one or two cards that your opponent really needs, they're out. And that is what's so good about this. If they end up with only three or four cards left next turn, maybe you can play a delinquent and life is good. But this isn't an attack that needs something else after it. This is an attack that you use and your opponent sits there and goes, well, well but did now have, you've gotten rid of everything. I've got no Ace Roller left. I've got no Guzman left. Oh, yeah. And I've got no Puzzle of Time left now. You might hit the wrong cards, but you might hit the right cards. And this isn't a new strategy. We saw this being played in the Greninja Mirror, of all things, with the Durant back from Flashfire. Now, it rotated a little while ago, but in the Greninja Mirror, this used to be quite an important card. And it was the same attack, except it wasn't quite as good. This allowed you to discard cards from your opponent's hand at random until they had four cards left in hand. Perugly allowed you to do it until they've got three cards left in hand. This gets you an extra card. Now, of course, we've got to mention Durant is a basic. Whereas Perugly is a stage one. And Durant was for a single energy. Whereas Perugly is for free energy. And yes, I know you can use double colorless, but it doesn't give you that same surprise factor. This is not the new Durant. Neither of these attacks are flat out amazing. What they are is interesting and fun and kind of cool. And that's what I like about them. These are attacks that, if used at the exact right time, can win you the game. This second attack from Perugly, with a choice ban, hits 180. Which means that you could, in theory, be getting a two-hit KO on something like a Drampa. The attack damage is not insignificant. But it's not about the damage. If you use it at the right time, you run your opponent out of cards and they sit there crying because they've got nothing to do. Discarding your opponent's stadium could be the thing that wins you the game. Getting that single turn of immunity could be the thing that wins you the game. And that's what Perugly has in spades. Little things that if done at the exact right time could win you the game. I'm giving Perugly between two and three Wossies. We don't give half Wossies. That would be barbaric. Neither of these attacks are going to make you instantly go, yay, now I win every game. But they are the kind of attacks that if used at the exact right time can make your opponent have that horrible look on their face of, but, 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 but now what? And that's what I love about it. It's an annoying card. I told you I'm going to go through all the interesting cards from Ultra Prism, and I intend to do so. It might not be the best card in the world, but Perugly certainly qualifies as an interesting card. But as always, ladies and gentlemen, I want to hear from you guys. Let me know in the comment section. Go nuts. Be nice.
Make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wossy, and Twitch for some live action at twitch.tv slash ptcgradio. If you want to support the channel, get some bonus podcasts and so on, you can do so by going to patreon.com slash ptcgradio. But by far the most important thing as always is to look after yourselves until next time. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Ross and you've been watching PTCG Radio.